I found out that I was pregnant the morning of my COVID shot. <laughs> Well, there's been many concerns from women about the COVID vaccine and the virus itself. WRTV Stephanie Wade has the latest information from health experts answering those questions impacting Hoosier families across the state. Many concerns tonight about whether to get the shot or not. If you're expecting, the recommendations have changed recently for pregnant women as more reports about the effects of COVID and women are coming in. A lot of them are really concerned with COVID. Dr. Jessica Ebbinger is an OBGYN at Ascension St. Vincent and says her counterparts across the country. They have started seeing again another influx of pregnant women in the ICU. She worries women are fearful and hesitant about getting the vaccine while pregnant. Definitely the COVID vaccine was a big deal for um, whether I should get it or whether I shouldn't. That was the case for Ashley Alexander. The day that I was getting my COVID vaccine, that's when I found out I was pregnant and I would call my doctor immediately and I was like, okay, what do I do? Is it safe in pregnancy? Is it okay if I'm breastfeeding? Is it going to cause problems? Questions Dr. Ebbinger says she gets on a daily basis. She says in the beginning of the vaccine rollout, the information was unclear whether it was safe or not for pregnant women. And the American College of OBGYN was not recommending it one way or the other. But now they've changed their tune, saying all pregnant women and moms who are breastfeeding should get the vaccine, especially since pregnant women are at a greater risk of having complications from COVID. Some of the research studies have come out and if you get COVID while pregnant, there's a threefold increased risk of being in the ICU. There's about a two and a half increased risk just from being pregnant of getting ventilated or on something like ECMO. I mean, these are very serious things. Dr. Ebbinger says there have been no additional side effects reported in pregnant women who got the vaccine, nor any adverse pregnancy outcomes. But women across the country have been noticing changes in their menstrual cycle after either having COVID or getting the COVID vaccine. It kind of makes sense. Your body, your cycles can get off if you're stressed, you're, you know, if you're sick, if your body's mounting some kind of immune response, which is what these vaccines are doing. So it's not an uncommon complaint that I've been hearing. The vast, vast, vast majority of time, all the people I've talked to, all of their cycles come back to normal after about a month or two. For Alexander, she says she and her husband both work full time. He's a firefighter and their daughter is in daycare. The risk of exposure was just too great not to get the vaccine. I felt like the risks outweighed being very sick and for me personally getting sick or my family spreading that or for something happening to the baby also. We know that most of the people in the hospitals right now and the vast, 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 vast majority of people who are dying are unvaccinated. So if you're pregnant, we know you're at an increased risk of being hospitalized in the ICU and dying. So don't take that risk. Stephanie Wade, WRTV. Infertility is still a big concern among women after getting the vaccine. The American Society of Reproductive Medicine says it has been studied enough now to say vaccines will not impact women's fertility. It's also been studied in men. Dr. Evinger says and there were says there were no changes in sperm count after the vaccine. Also important to note, it is safe to receive the vaccine while breastfeeding. In fact, it is encouraged as studies show it passes antibodies to the baby. So the baby has a level of antibodies against COVID once it's born or from breastfeeding.